Hey guys, what's up? Rev here. So, it's one of those videos that I do not like doing. You know what I mean? I don't. I'm. I, it's. I don't understand. I do not understand why people have to be extremely dishonest about things that have nothing to do with them. Absolutely nothing to do with them. Okay? I'm going to talk about this whole shanty cancer thing. Okay? <clears throat> now, uh, I got an email from somebody because they, they were maybe going to help us out with groceries, but they, they had the agenda of wanting to have some uh, questions answered. And all of the questions had to do with, oh, how can I get Shani on a lie with cancer? Okay, that's what this is all about. Now, first of all, I don't understand why you would want to be so intimately involved with somebody's life that's from the internet um, with with their health issues. That's number one. It's It's not appropriate to push yourself into getting more information on somebody on somebody's health like this health issues are protected under the law under privacy rights and it's not right but regardless of that <clears throat> i understand it somewhat because shani has expressed concern about possibly having breast cancer She's felt this way for quite some time, for quite a few years. She's felt like this, that it's possible that she has breast cancer. Now, this individual that emailed me sent me a video clip back from around, I believe it was 2019, when we were still living in Colorado, and um, Shani and I were separated at the time because of a protection order. <clears throat> and in this video, she says, that well it's good because the doctor said that I, I that they they don't think it's cancer and um and her cardiomyopathy was was doing okay at the time now mind you that's 2019 we're in 2023 right we're we're all on the same page in terms of what year we're living in right okay so let's count 2019 2020 2021 2022 that's three years ago that of this video of shanny saying um it's not cancer or something like it. she said they're there they think it's not cancer and my cardiomyopathy is okay or whatever something like that okay it was a very short clip of of shanny um telling people about her doctor visit that she had at the time that's pretty simple guys that it's there's nothing weird here. There's three years that went by. You, you don't think that somebody could develop cancer in three years? Of course they could. I mean, you can get fast-acting cancers you're dead in six months. Okay? I mean, this is insane that people would actually think about this in the way that they're thinking about it, that that's proof that she's lying about cancer. It's absolutely insane. It makes no sense whatsoever. You want to know the truth on what's going on here. It's always been told to you what the truth is here, okay? Shani has been concerned about her health for years, okay? And all of us, I think, can relate with going, look, I know something. I know I can relate to this because this is what my mother did, okay? I know there's something wrong with me, but I'm really, really scared to find out. The fact is, even back then, okay, under the care that she was under in, in Colorado, they had set up tests for her to find this stuff out, but we never did it, okay? And then eventually, I think Shani was really starting to feel bad, even in Colorado, like very bad in Colorado towards the end of it, and she would have went to the doctor then, but COVID, Okay, and COVID screwed up so much, and you guys know all of that. And and it the delays and the constant 
So, I mean, it, the bottom line that I want you to understand here, okay, is that there's never been any lying about cancer, guys. It's a person that's scared. They, she knows she's ill. She knows there's something wrong. And now we're getting to a place where the doctors are starting to line stuff up and, and, and things are going to start happening. But what starts happening with that is you also learn the extent of what's going on. And the fact is she's terrified of what's going on, and I am too, because I see how progressively this is, this is not... Uh, over a one week period or anything like that guys we're talking we're talking months and years okay a decline in every form of health that y you can imagine with with Shani okay the mobility breathing the whole nine okay we're dealing with, Shani is sick okay that's what I want you underst to understand one way or another she's sick if it turns out to be that, then it's that. I don't even like saying the word. You know, my mom passed away of it. If you don't know, my mom passed away of breast cancer in 2012. And she progressed through the... She, she was in the beginning stages of getting treated for it, but her body just couldn't do it. Take it. She was 64. And um, I think the, just the first thing of uh, chemo... I'm pretty sure that's the last the, the last uh, doctor thing I took her to before she passed away was a chemo treatment. That's what I think it was anyway. Uh, but she didn't tell me, you know, she didn't tell me that, uh, that she even had cancer. She, I, I just, I guess she assumed that I would get the clue. <laughs> but I've gone through this before, and and I I see parallels in the way Shani's symptoms are starting to um show um certain things physical attributes that that are looking very similar to to what I saw my mom go through so i really want to reiterate how really disgusting it is that we have a bunch of people on the internet that are tearing they're literally tearing a woman down for having health worries. that That's literally what's going on here. And you got to look yourself in the mirror if you're doing that. Why the hell are you doing that? Okay? Shani comes on here and gives you information of what she wants you to know. And that's what a streamer does. If you're, if, especially if you're vlogging your life. If you like going on a, a video and, 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 telling about your day or or whatever's going on in your life and you're doing it's you know what a vlog is everybody knows what a vlog is these days right <clears throat> having a vlog does not entitle you to know every single thing about a person's life that's not how it works just because Britney Spears is a major celebrity and singer doesn't mean that she has to tell you when she's taken up a crap or anything that that's not how it works she doesn't have to tell you if she's having a health scare right if it turned out mel gibson tomorrow was really ill god forbid he doesn't have any obligation to tell his fans look i got this and i could pass away okay we have examples of this with like david bowie and prince i'm pretty sure prince was the same way that they were ill for years Hey, Gavin Kit Kats, that's really annoying. Hey, boy, boy, he, he's at the door. He's like, he's scratching at the door. Gavin, can you stop that? Hey, boy, Gavin, do you want me to open it for you? Okay, he got the idea. <laughs> but that was like, if you guys heard that the whole video, that'd be crazy. Okay, I'm almost done anyway. This also bothers me on, on the level of, of having gone through this before. Because what, you know, if I had people, if I was on the internet already, and, and I had people coming at me saying your mother's lying about her cancer, or, or like lying about being sick, which actually happened in my family 
okay, somebody in my family was saying that my mother was lying about being sick, and I tore them. I really was not nice, <laughs> okay? I, I, I reacted to it, okay? This is the same thing, man. And I'm older and I'm more mature, but it's this still is, it's so disgusting to do to someone. And you should know, because I mean, I, you guys, you guys that, that revel in this shit, you should know that Shani right now is in on the couch and she's crying her eyes out and she's been crying all day. Why? You. Because you don't know how to be a human being. You don't know how to have compassion and love on someone that is going through something, okay? Very serious health issues in every way, okay? This is stone cold, guys. And you have to be stone cold evil to think it's funny to do this to people because I know that's not just Shani that you do this with. Why are you going to... Of all things in the world to pick on, not that it's okay to pick on anything in the world, but fucking cancer. All I can say to you, really, is I really hope that, 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 that something like that doesn't hit your family, man. Because I'm going to tell you, it devastates a family that you have to see them suffer in the way that they suffer. This downward spiral of, of worse and worse health and yeah, you're probably not going to get better. It's very horrible for loved ones to go through and see. And it's the patient is already going through so much, and you're in this space, in this mind space where, ha ha, you you do this because you get a laugh out of it. On top of it, that's your motivation too, is lulls and getting. I mean. It, you're appointed to the lake of fire if you don't understand what you're doing is extremely evil. You're going right there. You're not pass and go. You need to repent of this stuff. Everybody that's doing it, especially believers, you need to repent of it. Because it's sick. It's extremely sick what you're doing. But yeah... I, I mean, I hope you're really happy because Shani is, she's been crying all day over this shit. And it's horrible. Who the, nobody would blame her. But there's other people you do this to. And it's insane to me. It's absolutely insane. It's the most hurtful thing to be hating on someone for cancer. And, and trying to make it look like she's lying about this. It's it's like just for, from one video clip where she says she did in 2019 that they said that they didn't think it was cancer. And they didn't even say it wasn't. As far as I know, I wasn't, I couldn't be around at that time. I, I, I could not, it was not legally okay for me to be anywhere near Shanny. So... Like, I don't know, I wasn't there in front of the doctors to hear what they said myself, okay? But it, it doesn't matter. The, point, the fact of the matter is this, is that they had more tests set up for her to do. And, and she would have found out then. But uh, I guess the doctors were saying at the time that they didn't think it was cancer. But that's 2019, guys. It's 2023, Okay? And the doctor's appointments, like, it, it, I'm telling you, the delays that, that we had gone through for so long, it, it, it's, I mean, COVID really messed stuff up bad. But I think I said what I needed to say here. Um, If you have any humanity in you whatsoever, if you have any humanity in you whatsoever, please, please stop what you're doing or please.
because you're probably shortening her lifespan at this point. I, the, the, the way that you people tear her down, and you don't even know who you're doing this to. You don't know how sweet and wonderful this girl is that you're doing this to. You're going to pay for it.